Hi friends, in this video let us discuss learning task control. This is the fourth uh, learning task. Of course we have already covered two learning tasks. The third one is pending and uh, that will cover after this video. And this is learning task control. This is very important learning task. Let us see how the control can be done. Yes. Control means here we need to control a plant that means in general plant means it's a process or it's a critical part of the system where the monitoring or the maintenance of control condition has to be implemented. That means we need to keep on maintaining in a proper manner such that it will be performed well. So that type of thing is called plant. So the plant means it's a process or a critical part of the system where the continuous monitoring is required or continuous controlled maintenance of the controlled condition is required. That type of thing is called a plant. That means the plant may be a complete process, I mean a complete thing, complete industry or some part of the industry where the monitoring is required and if that here in this control aspect we need to control those plants so let us first see can we control the plant that means the answer is yes because human brain is there and human brain is a computer, the outputs of which as a whole system are actions. So, for example, if we touch a hot water and the water is too hot to touch it, definitely we will remove our hand. That means, that means the brain is controlling everything. The brain is the, just like a central unit and which controls everything, which controls everything and that will be converted into actions. Where non-linearity is also there and noise is also there but it is capable of doing everything and it will give you the best outcome or the best action. Likewise we can also construct our neural network such that we can have a generalized controller that can control our plant. That means it will take all inputs and it will give you the necessary outputs or necessary signals to perform some actions. So those type of things come under control. Theory. So we can definitely create a neural network such that it will give you, it will monitor a, a process, a plant properly because our brain is a live example where we can also do in the same manner as we have deputed from the human brain that means neural network is the analogous to human brain so once human brain can do it we can also do with some difficulties okay definitely we can do it let us see how we can do it in a fruitful manner according to our requirement yeah this is the thing so here what we have discussed till now is a plant and the plant is shown here in a orange color and with the white color nameplate and here the plant input is u and the plant output is y now the plant output is given feed fed back to the input and the plant output y is compared with the reference signal d it is given from the other sources or external sources and the D and Y are compared and the error signal E and that will be processed in a controller. Here the controller is neural network controller and once it has processed then the plant inputs has been changed and the processing has been done to change the free parameters of the neural network controller. As we already know at start the neural network has free parameters. So after getting change changed then we will provide the proper plant inputs u to the plant such that it will give you the proper plant outputs so this is the 
complete uh, idea of control ta control task maybe learning task okay control the name of this learning task is control let us see uh, how this was beautifully explained okay by one of the textbooks let us see yeah the system involves unit feedback system around the plan to be controlled so where we are controlling the plant around that we need to create a unit feedback system as the diagram shows it's a unit feedback system around the plant what where we have to control the thing and the next one is the plant output is directly fed back to input obviously it's a directly fed back to inputs of course there is a control in between that and y is subtracted from the reference signal what we have already discussed d then there is an error and of course the reference signal is supplied by the external source so the error e is applied to the neural network controller to adjust the free parameters of the neural net that's what we have to that's what the process will be and the main purpose of controller is to provide the proper inputs to the plant to give the proper output and the so such that the output has to track the reference d so our main agenda is we need to make our output to track the d that means we need to try to produce the output exactly equal to d so that there is no use of controller at all that means by controlling means we need to get the reference signal by this output so we need to compare every time we are comparing these two the reference signal and the output signal and we are trying to make the error zero that's what the controlling is but in this aspect we need to see the jacobian matrix according to error correction learning algorithm to change the free parameters we need to see the jacobian matrix that means we have to satisfy them as so what how to, but for getting you know, this jacobian matrix what we have to do we need to depend on operating point of the plant but that is unknown to us then how to find the operating point of the plant now there are two approaches and we can follow any one of them where we can find the operating point of the plant okay let us see what are those things first one is indirect learning indirect learning means we are making a neural network model just as a plant that's all that means we are providing the input and output measurements to the neural network such that we need to create one more plant just like that okay just a copy of the plant we are trying to create the copy of the plant by taking the inputs and outputs of the plant and those inputs and outputs of the plant has been given to the neural network model simply then then the model then this model estimates the jacobian to use in error correction learning algorithm to make the to change the free parameters so that's very simple thing our job is to change the free parameters so by using error correction learning algorithm we are doing it for error correction learning algorithm we need to estimate the jacobian matrix j so by using this we will estimate the jacobian j so this is called indirect learning and let us see how directly we can do it the signs of jacobian are generally known to us and it should be usually it is constant remains constant over a dynamic range of plant then only we can say that the plant is controlled if the plant is controlled means if any dynamic situation occurs with the plan but still the jacobian sign has to be constant okay that's what we need to do i mean that's what we need to do here actually in general it will be if it is already done then there is no use of controller at all but generally we need to make the dynamic we need to make the jacobian remain constant for the dynamic operation of plant whatever may be the dynamics okay that's what we need to do but here the absolute value of j is given to distributed representation in the free parameters of the neural network controller here we need to give the absolute value of the j 
two free parameters in a distributed representative manner. It's the direct method, so directly we are giving it. Now the neural network is enabled to learn the adjustments to its free parameters directly from the plan. Now the neural network is it has the ability to learn to adjust its free parameters by using by using the plant okay that's it's it is the direct direct learning because the neural network is trying to learn from the plant itself directly but in the previous method we are only giving the inputs and outputs directly okay and then whenever we are giving the inputs and outputs directly then we are estimating the jacobian based on those inputs and outputs but here we are giving we are giving the absolute value of the jacobian matrix and then we are making the free parameters to adjust according to the plan okay this is the difference between indirect learning and the direct learning so by using these things we can estimate the operating point and then we can get the jacobian matrix very easily then we can use error correction method and then we can control the plant successfully okay this is the one of the learning tasks control so if you like this video thank you for 1100 plus subscriptions if you like this video please like it if you want to share this video with your friends and colleagues please share it if you haven't subscribed till date kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and please press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever i upload any video and i have jntu syllabus and i want to cover each and every topic in that syllabus so i like to cover all these topics within 5 to 10 days so you can you will get the very good information regarding neural networks and fuzzy logic so please follow me at least for 5 to 10 days so that you will get the you can complete this course successfully thank you thank you so much